What's up you guys? I'm Michaela Jill Murphy. You may know me as the voice of Toph Beifong in Nickelodeon's Avatar The Last Airbender. And welcome to Tea Time with Toph! A reaction series where we go through the episodes before the live action premiere on Netflix at the end of February. Come along with me. I got this idea because an incredible company named Tea Cozy met me at a con, an anime con, this last year, and they gave me a tea set with a tea bag themed for every single episode all 61 episodes. We have this super cute handmade cup, all the elements of course, so this is what we'll be using. And then here we are, book one, book two, book three, water, earth, fire, ASMR, hello. Okay, so this is our season one. It has every single tea compilation in there. And this lovely packet explains the flavor profile, how long I should steep it for, the temperature, everything. Book one, episode one. This is awesome. <laughs> Book one, episode one, The Boy in the Iceberg. Hidden secret, jasmine blooming green tea. Preparation, 212 degrees. Place ball in clear vessel, pour boiling water, allowed to bloom. The first blend in this collection is a blooming jasmine tea. Like The Boy in the Iceberg, this blend is an explosive but beautiful force. When we use our own water, bending this tea reveals a hidden secret. This blend also reflects the first mention of jasmine tea by Uncle Iroh and represents the blossoming of lifelong connections. So pretty. All right, let's warm up our water. It's a little bit under 212, but we're making this work. I'm, I'm gonna become a fancier tea connoisseur by the end of this. This is also super cute. It has a little icon key. So let's see, this one has dragon tea and then water. So episode that features Iroh, episode that features tea, and episode that highlights water tribe culture. Okay, so each of the teas has a little, has a little icon distribution. So cute! Ha ha ha! I'm water bending. We don't have something clear, so it'll be a little less visual, but this is my lovely teapot. I'm going to put this wonderful, this wonderful ball into this guy and let it bloom in here. All right, first one. Let's do it. Ooh! Oh, this is cute. There's, there's definitely, there's definitely something inside of this lovely, oh, that smells so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. So little in here. Let's do it. There it goes. All right, let's get started. Rewatch till the live action premiere. Water. Oh. Earth. I haven't watched this in a long Fire. time. Uh, I've, I've rewatched it a good number of times. You all probably have me won, uh, you know, on, on the number of times total, but I think I'm around four? Four or five times all the way through, nonstop. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements. All four elements. Yeah, season one, it, it always just feels longer to me than, um, than I expect because I forget that I don't come to season two sometimes and I'm like, where am I? Where does Toph come in? Whoa, whoa. Icebergs. That's it. That's the episode. Icebergs. <laughs> you know, the fact that Katara and, and Sokka are just like hanging out on this boat, not getting away from me fishing either. slash hunting learn, without knowing what they're about to stumble upon is kind of sweet. Also a little heartbreaking because like they're going through troubling times right now. So the fact that they're just like trying to survive uh, and then just casually come upon the Avatar, no big deal. She's waterbending. I forget that people don't realize how powerful she is at the beginning of this. We've steeped for a good couple of minutes here. I think we can have our first cup of tea. It smells so good. I feel like there's a through line of anger just being like a release of power and everything and floating like around you. She's a powerful bender. Episode one. We know Katara's got some, got some backbone going on. What is that in the water? You know, wait, hold on a second. What beckoned him? Was he inside the, the big one that she just broke? Or did he just feel like the bending? And then came up? Yeah, it was a little unclear. It kind of just like came from the depths below or maybe it was just time and they just happened to be in the right place in time for this all to happen. Yeah, wait, I have questions. It is so pretty. I'm a big fan of, of pastel blue, soft blues. It's Zuko. I won't get to finish my game. It 
being my and uncle having tea it's about to come to an end oh it's just the celestial light listening to mako's voice is really cool because i mean i've listened to obviously his voice and and greg's voice often uh and there are some tiny little subtleties that are just appreciated in in mako's reading and a floop okay let's try this i think it's cool enough now Mm-hmm. Mm. I love tea. <laughs> this, this was like a perfect gift for me. I'm obsessed with tea. Uh, yeah, I'm obsessed with tea. So this is, this is super exciting for me and it's so fresh. Oh. Will you go penguin sledding with me? <laughs> uh, right out of the gate, super serious. Will you go penguin sledding with me? <laughs> These intros are awesome. Sokka's not paying attention to his sister and trying to like, be the man. Katara's just casually being an incredibly amazing waterbender. And Aang's like, I'm getting up from a nap. Wanna go penguins? <laughs> Appa! My favorite character. Appa's my favorite. He literally carries the show on his back. Somehow they're okay after being frozen in ice <laughs> for a hundred years. Everything's fine, everything's limber, no need to stretch. Beauty of being 12, I suppose. Ooh, there we go. Get a nice sneeze out. Giant light beams, flying bison, airbenders. I think I got Midnight Sun Madness. Midnight Sun Madness would be a great, like, name for a, a band, an album, something. Midnight Sun Madness. What genre would it be? I'm feeling rock, alt rock, which I know is my territory. But Midnight Sun Madness. Yeah. Who, who out there? What would the what would the title track be? <laughs> And a faloop! And a falop. <laughs> this definitely does describe this tea perfectly. Yeah, there's the jasmine with a little bit of, let's see, so we have green tea, jasmine, lavender, chrysanthemum, and amaranth? Amaranth? I actually don't know what that is. I'm probably saying it wrong. If you know what it is, let me know. Uh, those are all of the flavors in here, and I think all of those are coming through. I don't know how much I'm... The lavender would be the lightest. I definitely taste everything else. Hey, what you thinking about? I Aang, casually, you're being just... And... Hey, what you thinking about? First time seeing the glider in action. So funny, he's such a pop of orange amongst all this blue and white, and he's like, Hi, I'm colorful! I'm Aang! I'm yellow and orange. I'm an airbender. <laughs> Maybe not the best driving skills. That's okay. He's a kid. <laughs> he's still figuring it all out. <laughs> I sense he's filled with much wisdom. See? So much wisdom. Yeah, so much wisdom. <laughs> Meanwhile, yes. Fire Nation. Voting territory. What do we think about this whole slightly bald with the ponytail situation. I mean, I feel like it's just a, like a royal family style thing for guys. I don't know, it's it's very intense. You know, Uncle Iroh's a little a little sassy. He can get it right this time. He's like, you have yet to master your yeah, basics. yet to master your basics. He's a little, he's a little intense. Telling him to just repeat, do it again. He's not strong enough. The sages tell us yeah, I kind of forget that they have a little bit of a rift, so Uncle Ira is a little bit tougher at the beginning. And it softens up over the course of the show. Then again, Zuko's also being very intense back. I must finish my roast duck. You finish that roast duck. I'll sip my tea. <laughs> but without courage, how can we call ourselves men? <laughs> They're all like I gotta pee. <gasps> I gotta pee. <laughs> Sokka being a teacher, maybe, maybe not, maybe later in life, but th over the course of this show, perhaps not the best. <laughs> Double fin penguin time! They're so cute. You know, I'm really torn between these guys and the turtle ducks. Look, at, they're so cute! A waterbender needs to master water. Yes, Aang, a waterbender does need to master water. Good job. <laughs> And then she's scared to actually do it because it means leaving home. Can you teach me? What if she never left? What if she was just too scared and she stayed? Not ideal. It's a little 
terrifying, actually, if you're being kind of just surrounded by penguins and they're all just fighting for the fish you have in your hand. That's, that's a little scary. This looks so fun. Why this hasn't been made into a ride yet somewhere is beyond me. The, the rides that they have at the one, the Mall of America, whatever, those are, those are cute. But like, where is this? I want to go penguin sledding. Maybe I'll just make a sled and paint it penguin. If you want to be a bender, you have to let go of fear. If you want to be a bender, you have to let go of fear. Hmm. I'm sure that's applicable to other things as well. Like if you want to grow, if you want to succeed. First, first little wisdom nugget. Thanks, Avatar Aang. Avatar Twinkle Toes. You know, it's crazy that they're just kind of walking through clearly a, a triggering sight for Katara at such a young age. They're like dealing with all of this alone. Poor Aang. Poor kid's terrified. Maybe somehow there's a bright side to all this. I did get to meet you. He's so sweet. I found the avatar. It begins. First episode done! Woohoo! Okay. When the iceberg. Alright, we, we've got ourselves introduced to Katara and Sokka and Aang and Zuko and Uncle. We've had some tea, we had some roast duck, we had some we had some tension, some hundred-year-old trauma, some last airbender shocking waterbenders, or I guess the water tribe. I, I kind of forget that Katara was like the last or the only one in her tribe who can bend, so she was trying to figure it all out on her own, and then Aang's trying to figure everything out on his own. You know, they're kind of, they're just meant to be. They're destined. It's supposed to be that way. All right, episode one down. Thanks for joining me. See you for episode two. Bye guys.